It's best to have these two windows side by side. In the class data folder on your left, click and drag to highlight the two zipped data folders. Right click and click copy. Now in your student data folder on the right, paste these two files into your lab2 data folder. It's important to keep your files organized, so make sure that you're pasting these into your data folder. Next, right click the highlighted files and hover over where it says 7-zip and click extract files to access these files. If you don't do this, you might not be able to open up the files in ArcGIS Pro. Next, open up ArcGIS Pro and log in using your UO Duck ID and password. Create a new project using the catalog template and save the project into your Lab 2 folder. Be sure to have the box checked titled Create a New Folder for this project. Next, go to the Insert tab and click where it says Add Folder. Here, navigate to the Lab2 data folder where you pasted the two data files and then click OK. Next, click where it says New Map in the Insert tab to add a new map window. Since we'll be making four unique maps, we'll be titling each to stay organized. On the left in the Contents pane, right-click on the layer that says Map and click Properties. Rename this to Oregon-GCS. GCS stands for Geographic Coordinate System. On the right in the catalog pane, go to your connected folder and fire, find the layer that's name ends with US state. Add the shapefile to the map by right clicking on the file that ends with .shp and click add to current map. You also have the option to add to a new map or a different map, but in this case we will be using the current map option. Take a moment to stylize your layer in the Symbology pane.
Once you find a style that you like, go ahead and click Apply. You can always right click on your layer and click Zoom to Layer to see the entire extent. Make sure to remove the base layer for your final map. You can always add the base map again for reference using the base map dropdown in the insert tab. In the next video, we'll be inspecting the spatial reference information for our layer as well as creating another map.